What you guys got another video here for you. It seems that Windows 10 uh, 2004 update has run into a pretty major bug and I'm going to be talking about that in this video. Now if you're one of those people that like to update uh, your version of Windows early then you may be kicking yourself. Now this seems to be the common thing that people want to push to update Windows 10 straight away before it's even officially properly released and again what will happen is you will end up becoming guinea pigs for Windows 10 to find any problems and send them back. The problem with this one is it's to do with uh, defragging your SSD and it seems to be doing it on a regular basis. So let's go here and take a look at system. If you're running Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10 Home or any other version of Windows 10 and it says version 2004 then you will have the latest version of Windows 10. The problem with that is uh, that means you've updated to the latest version very early and uh, you should have maybe waited uh, before you did that. So let's take a look at the problem in hand and let's see what really does happen with this update. So we're going to go to our drive here and when you go to your main drive, now this is a SSD drive, I'm going to right click on here and go to properties. Inside here you'll see an area called tools, if we click on this one and you'll see optimize and defragment drive. In the optimize area here, this is where the problem resides. So you'll see this area where it says current status, it says needs optimization. Now this should do this automatically. Microsoft have built in something to their operating system where this will be done once a month. It knows it's a solid state drive, it will run an optimization on your drive this will be trimmed what's called trimmed if I click on this one here you'll see what it does you'll see it trimming the drive here and this is safe it's not going to harm the drive and that's basically done zero days since your last retrim now Windows takes care of this by doing this probably once a month and it will trim the drive and this is what it's designed to do but the problem is it will say needs optimization every time you reboot the computer or it just does it at random and this can put a lot of wear and tear on the drive and this means there's an issue with this and this should never happen okay it shouldn't constantly go back to needs optimization every time you reboot your PC or whenever you do things like that now I can show you exactly where this resides inside um, event viewer we can take a look there so let's go down to the bottom left hand side here and what we're going to do here is we're going to go in here and type event viewer. You can put in event and it will come up straight away. So you can see event viewer here. So click on event viewer and this will open up the event viewer pane and we can then take a look inside here. So what we're going to do is we're going to filter out all of the other information and just take a look at the solid state drive defrag information. So go to windows logs then application and then what you want to do is right click on application here and what we're going to do is filter out the uh, information here. So this will be the drop down ar uh, arrow here on the source that we want to look for which is now defrag. We're going to look for defrag and this will tell us all the information about defrag and what's been going on. Now some people uh, are claiming that this is having a lot more of effect than other people. I'm not sure if it's affecting every single person out there but I know there's a lot of information on the internet about this and it's uh, also on Microsoft's site. So I'm going to pull this down and you can now see we've got some information here. Let's zoom in and have a look. Now if you look at the date and the time here on the information given here, on the 22nd you can see there's one, two, three, four, five five uh, times that it uh, defragged that drive which is far too many in that short space of time now I'm not sure why that's happening and what's going on there there must be a problem with the uh, coding or something inside there that's making it want to defrag or trim or optimize or whatever you want to call it the drive which is our SSD drive and that is far too many times. Now this might be because I've not rebooted the PC and it's just done uh, that many times there so if you reboot the PC a lot it may do a lot more defragging 
And again, you can see here on the 15th, it done quite a few there and the 14th as well. So basically what you're seeing there is a group of defrags which can shorten the life of the drive if you constantly uh, defragging that type of drive or using trim, uh, which it does here. If you can take a lot more information by clicking on these here, you can click on these to get a bit more information. You can see this one's called retrim. And again, you don't really want to be doing this on your system all the time so what do you do if you want to take control of this you can actually disable it inside windows or you can roll back to the previous version of windows if you're still in that window of opportunity so let me just show you some of the options that you have available to you until microsoft uh, fix this okay so the first thing you want to do here is go down to your start button if you want to roll back go back to the start button and then click on the settings pane here and then go into update and security inside there you want to click on the recovery area here and then go back to a previous version of windows 10. unfortunately they only give you 10 days to do this so if you've gone past the 10 days then you're not going to be able to roll back to the previous version so what the other option is is to disable the defrag option inside the drive to stop windows controlling it and doing it too many times which can shorten the life and uh, shorten the life cycle of your ssd especially if they're not going to fix and resolve this problem very quickly so let's close that off and take a look at that now a lot of these problems can be avoided this is a feature update and it doesn't need to be done right away uh, but some people insist that you have to do it immediately as soon as it comes available to you or even force the update via the windows update application that you can use and that is just silly you really want to hold off and wait until it's fully officially released so let's take a look at how we can uh, pause the defragging on a windows 10 system to stop it defragging your ssd so go down to the search box and type in there defrag and you will then see defragment and optimizing uh, drives or optimized drives click on this and this will open up the window now if you look in here you can already see the current status has already been changed to need optimization again and we've only just run the trim command on this and this is exactly what i'm on about this will continually uh, change that current status i've not rebooted the system and it's already changed it which means it's going to run uh, another optimization on my SSD which will then put wear and tear onto that drive and cause problems we don't want that so what we're going to do is completely disable the C drive and what you can do is change settings this will open up this area here now the optimized drives you can see it's set to weekly but it will ignore that and continually uh, do a uh, optimization you can take the ticks out and do this and it will turn off the scheduled optimization the problem is it will do this for all of the drives on your computer if you want to go back and um, change this I'll show you where you can change it so let me just quickly do this again and see if this uh, happens again so you can see here zero days since the last retrim and this will continually do this behind the scenes so if you want to turn it off it will stop that from happening and you will have to do this manually now if you want to uh, make this just for your SSD then go back into change settings here make sure it looks like this okay you've got an area here for your drives this is where we're going to go down to so make sure the ticks are in and the scheduled optimization is on and click choose and then remove the tick from your C drive and this will just uh, tell it to ignore your C drive which is your SSD or M.2 NVMe drive you can remove that from there and leave it like this if you want to completely disable it then you can go back in there and take the ticks out and it will completely disable it altogether and it will stop that from running altogether but it will ignore your mechanical drive and you will need to do that manually when the update is rolled out you'll be able to uh, obviously go back in and put these on and put the tick back in here and it will then take control of that again and you shouldn't have to worry about it okay so this is one of the big problems of rolling out updates too early or even forcing updates before they've been officially released you can end up running into problems like this you've then gone past your 10 days of rolling back time and that means you can run into issues just like this now is this a big problem in my opinion yes it is because it's continually right into the drive and defragging the drive uh, far too many times 
uh, and it's far too often and it shouldn't do that because it will shorten the life cycle of that drive if you continually do that so in my personal opinion you're best off holding off of these updates and waiting uh, for the official release date when Microsoft released this update and by then a lot of these issues will be ironed out and fixed anyway with that said I hope this one's been useful and helpful to you if it is then give it a thumbs up and I shall see you again for another video real soon my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys have a great day bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.